Welcome back, you foul tarnished. Once again, smoldering with thy meager flame. Emboldened by this upload. Uh, welcome back, everyone, to Elden Ring. <laughs> I just want an excuse to be able to talk like that. I keep seeing videos of the voice actors from this game doing lines, and I saw a TikTok of the guy doing Margaret's voice. And I'm like, man! Everybody sounds so cool! I have to be stuck here with this goofy-ass Irish accent, high-pitched voice, and everybody else just sounds like... Foul tarnished. That's fair. Anyway, we're down here in the deep dark down, deep down, dark root depths, where, uh, these are the roots of the Erd tree, by the way. Or are they? I posit that question to you. Are they the roots of the current Erd tree? Or a tree that came before, because if you check our map, we are directly above the capital. Below the capital. The capital is directly above us. And the Erd tree is here. So it stands to reason that the roots go down, and you can see all the roots here. And with a tree as massive as that, you would think that the roots go far. But there's theories that the Erd tree that we're seeing is not the original. Um, and there are other trees in this universe that are rivaling the Ur tree, or have rivaled, or whatever. Anyway, we're going into this coffin again. We're gonna sit in this one, we're gonna have a good time. It's the same cutscene again, you just go down instead of up. It's crazy what they do with technology these days. Where am I? Am I out? Am I dead? Tinkle Bab! Where are you? Hey! You don't look a day over dead. <laughs> We've had a rough ride of it. Uh, but now we're in the Ainsel River Main, which is all the way over here. So we came from there, now we're over here. We're underneath uh, Liurnia now. So we did um, Rani's quest last time. At least we gave her the, the finger blade thing. We gave her the finger. Rani! <laughs> So now we get her doll, the miniature Rani. Let's read it. Uh, a doll resembling Rani the witch. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. Huh. Okay. What's cool about it, shall we find out? You can talk to the doll. Oh! Also something shameful that I have to admit that I need to correct before we go any further, is that I kept... I was in this place and I kept calling it Siofra River. And somebody was like, Jack taking pride in Ireland and then pronouncing Siofra wrong. I did not even think that it was the Irish name Siofra. Because it doesn't have a father over the A, or the I. Normally it's S-I father O-F-R-A, and then it's Siofra. So without the father, it doesn't actually get that sound. So it's Siofra. Um, but it's a, it's a name in Ireland. I, I guess you could call it Siofra. Um, yeah. But I got it wrong. My bad. <laughs> I've been out of Ireland too long. So you need to talk to the miniature Rani like three times. Oh. A dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Huh? Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. She's kind of an asshole, I'm just gonna say. Everyone's like, oh, Ronnie this, Ronnie that. She's so cute. She is waifu. She's a bit of an asshole, if you ask me. Oh, there's another dude. Ho, ho, ho. Ho. You come at me? I wish I could speak Japanese fluently so I could do the JoJo voices. Because I can get the tone down, but it's... Uh, it's the actual speaking of the language that messes me up. Funnily enough, how that is. 
this way! Blah, 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 And then I run in. And I hit you in the face. Uh-oh. Oh, I might be dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! No, I'm fine. Oh my god! So annoying! Why are there so many of you? Go away! I bled him. I bled him. Hit these guys! Okay, you didn't really, but thanks. Hey! Got him! I could have summoned my Mimic, but I have to do this all on my own. Calm down here, you winged fiend! For I shall show you the power of the Dink! Oh, bam. That's me. I'm the Dinkle Bam. What is this one? Ghost Glove Ward 6. I think I have a 4, a 6, and a 7. I think I might still need a 5, and I need those to get, um, my Mimic up. Noxtella. There's so many parts to this underground area. Somebody said that Noxtella is probably the skeleton that's in the throne. I don't know. I don't have anything to go against that. Oh my god, I have so many runes! 40k? Oh! That's nice! Can I get to 80? Probably not. Um, but if that is Noxtella in the throne, there is another skeleton, so I don't know who the other one is then. Ooh, I can get to 80. Ooh, two levels? Pour moi? What is it, my birthday? Um, what do I want to put it into? Maybe endurance? Just so we can, uh, wear heavier armors. Um... This one's actually pretty good. So maybe I can get the scaled hands? Yes, that's even better. Ooh! I can go full now! <laughs> you look so stupid! <laughs> I'll take it! Oi! You there! Have a bit of this! And that! I'm one of these! Nice. Man, being able to bleed things is so valuable in this game. Like, you can get stuff on Scarlet Rot, you can get stuff to, like, poison. Oh, he didn't do it. You can get this to kill every- all of them. Kill one and then they all go down. Blah! Nice. Oh, man. These guys are so annoying! With your crappy little shields, aim at the one in front of me, for the love of God! I swear, they've made so many of these games, and the lock-on is still absolutely wonky. The amount of times I've, like, a guy right in front of me smack me in the face over and over again, and then it aims at, like, a deer all the way in the distance. Ooh, Ghost Glove Ward Bell. That's good. That's helpful. I like that. Dingle bam! Spin move! That's a good trick! Okay. Now there's a big ball here that we need to fight. <laughs> and I hate it! It should be easy! It's just a ball, but it's able to hit you so hard so many times. Okay, this works actually. That'll keep the ball at bay. Oh lord. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, this is perfect. Nice! Oh, Cause he'll hit you! He'll hit you, he'll knock you down, he'll knock you over, and then he'll do it again! He's not a very nice lad. Oh, what is the thing in here again? Cause there's another ball. I have anything to throw at you. Have one of these! Got him. Ha! Hold on, let me sip on my blue, my Gatorade. Ha! And then another! And then some more! Huh. And then one of these. Big ball go bye bye! Hiya! Surely some of you will explode. There we go. There we go. Kill them all! Yes! That didn't do it. Man! I wanted to like kill everybody and be so satisfying and have everyone die from like. <gasps> Big ball! Oh god, it's all over! I can't do my attack! Yes, I can! 
Take a bab! Ah! Oh. Holy moly! It's all your fault! I wanted to do like the cool thing where you kill one of them and then it kills them all in a chain reaction. But that didn't work, did it? There you go. Now do it. Do it now. See if I care. Hey, it did work. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it's time. You're gonna summon your mimics, so I'll summon mine. Go, Double Bamp. Twice as strong as Dinkle Bamp. Get him. It's mimic versus mimic. Who's our stronger? Trick question. Mine is. Get him double! Le double bump! Hey! You leave double bump below! Oh my god, can you just... Die gracefully! You're not gonna win this fight, bud! Alright, how we doing, double? I'll get him! Ha! You were a wonderful distraction, double bump! What a team! High five, brother! Okay, he's doing his own thing, but what a lad. <laughs> uh, and now we get the Moon of Noxtella. I forget what that does. Is that a thing in here? Yeah. Increases memory slots. Not that great for a dex build. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Bye. I don't like those guys. They're... They're Nox people riding ants. You're not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. Oh yeah, we still have to fight the Baleful Shadow that she mentioned. It's a little bit further down. Um, Let me go see if I can upgrade my stuff. See, I told you. I didn't have a five. Now I can get it. And then I have a six and a seven. I might have an eight, but I'm not sure. Uh, we can go upgrade our Mimic! And then Double Bamp is gonna turn into Triple Bamp. <laughs> At least I- I think I can upgrade him now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I needed five, six, seven. Okay, and then I need eight, nine, and then a great. Cool, I'll get those easily. And I just had enough in the level- in the runes that I had. This is all turning out great! Okay, um, so I have 1 plus 14 and 1 plus 12. That's good. Well, that's real good. A 73 and a 71 bleed. Thank you, Master Yug. It would, it is with great pleasure that I appreciate the fine craftsmanship that you've put into my weaponry. Thank you. Remember I looked down past the skeleton and I was like, oh, there's a Sight of Grace down there. That's up there. That's where the giant skeleton in the chair was. I love that. I love how everything connects in these games all the time. I mean, not all the time. But their their level design is phenomenal. I don't think anyone does it as good as they do. The way everything connects together, everything has purpose. It's laid out really well. I want to get th those items, but I don't want to fight you guys. Ah! Oh, actually. Yeah, but you got Death Blight, and it's all, like, stinky and annoying. Where are you? Come here. Nice. All right, all right, all right. You wanna go? You wanna tussle? Whoa. Hey, why didn't he die? Okay, nice. Smithing stone, five. And a four. I think fives are what I needed. Can you give me like 20 of those? That'd be real handy. All right, baleful shadow time. We have to kill this guy. Who? I know what you're thinking. He looks like Blythe. It's not Blythe. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers. Woo! Oh man! Uh oh! I knew that was gonna hit me. Here it comes again! Bleed! Bleed! Yeah! Waste your healing now, mon frere! Hiya! Uh oh! Uh oh! Okay. I'm not as strong as I thought for this area. So we'll have to take it a little more careful. I can't just blast through it. 
Because there's a lot of stuff I've been like skipping for the sake of the videos. Just to keep things rolling, you know? And I'm like, I'll go get back and get them in my spare time, but... Haven't had a lot of that lately. Uh-oh. Double heal! Double bamp! I can't summon double bamp right now. I feel lost. Ha! Ow! Yeah, do your whoosh. There you go. Ouch. It'd be great if you could bleed again, honestly. Oh! -ho! Melted me in the face before I even got close to him. Okay, do your thing. Yeah, I should just bait these attacks. more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now, I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Bly and Egypt, I love her. Oh. Discarded palace key. Okay, we furthered her quest. I'm not too sure on what that shadow is. Because it looks like Blythe. It's like a half-wolf human kind of guy as well. Um, but it's not Blythe. I'm taking off my socks. <laughs> I got bare feetsies right now. <laughs> my toes are touching carpet, baby. Alright, Lake of Rot. Worst place in the game. It's like... We've had poison swamps in FromSoft games before, but a, uh, a toxic swamp is the worst. Scarlet Rot is like toxic in this game. It's just stupid. <laughs> it's just a bad idea. Also, it is really warm in my room. Why? I'm gonna be in me undies soon. So that key we got is really important for her quest. A lot of you have probably done it already, but... Shut up! Uh, this chest that's right next to her was always like... You couldn't unlock it, but then when you get Rani's key you can. And then you get the Dark Moon Ring. Which reads... Uh, ring depicting a leaden full moon, symbolic of a cold oath. The ring is supposed to be given by Lunar Princess Rani to her consort. Consort is like a, a spouse. Um, it's old, old language. Rani is an Empyrean, meaning her consort would, by rights, earn the title of Lord. A warning is engraved within. Whoever thou mayest be, uh, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. Ooh. So... An Empyrean is someone that's designated by the Greater Will. We know Greater Will, Erdtree, Outer God, brought down the... the well, I was going to say what, what it was, but it's the last boss and I don't want to spoil it. Um, basically, it's Vassal. So, the Greater Will is a God's influence and power. And the, the God itself is not in this land. You don't actually get to fight it. It's just sending, like, its influence over here to take control over the land. And if you're chosen by it to become, like, the new god, basically, you, you're you an Empyrean. So, like Queen Marika before, Queen Marika became a god based on... They're, they're the one in all, like, the statues and everything, and they're the one that did all of this before us, and Elden Ring and all that stuff. They were in the, tr the very first trailer, shattering the Elden Ring. Um, they... They're an Empyrean. Well, they're a god now, but they were an Empyrean set for godhood. So Rani is another one that is an Empyrean um, that can be chosen for godhood. Like, they they are worthy. Okay, we have five stanching boluses. Oh, these are preserving boluses. Stanching are the blood ones. Uh, preserving boluses, so that gets rid of rot buildup. So, I just need to make it across. Usually you can, especially if you have a weapon that has this. Um, you can do quick step. Oh wait, no, this is bloody slash. Oh, right, 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 right. My bad. Hold on. I'm all over the place. Now, Bloodhound step. So you can do quick step, which is like the dodge you get in Bloodborne, but Bloodhound step is like the step above that. So it's really, really good, but... Rot... <sighs> Oh, I could have gotten that anyway, couldn't I? Rot takes so much of your health so quickly, so it's like, get through this area as quick as you can. Is there any gear in this game that negates Rot? I'm not talking about, like, slows it down or slows the build up or makes you, like, more immune. I'm talking about anything that just stops it. 
If even just for a short while. I doubt it, but... Oh God, it would be nice. Because there's a boss over there as well. It's another Dragonkin. And I never fight him because, well, he gives you a sword that I don't want. But also, it's just so annoying to get over there. <laughs> and, um... Oh, I ran out. So annoying to get over there and then have to get rid of your Scarlet Rot and then have to fight him. It's just stinky, is what it is. Anyway, we made it through. I made it through the wilderness. You know I made it through. Didn't know how lost I was until I found you. That song always reminds me of Shrek. Because then it goes straight into, I like big butts and I can at the end of it. <laughs> My watch is listening in. <laughs> My watch had written, I like big butts. My watch knows me. Okay, whew. it's Estelle time. So you, you know those guys that we've been fighting that are the big long snake looking dudes with the wings and then they have like the pincers and they fire rocks at you? We're about to fight the ultimate form of those. Named Estelle. Natural born of the void. This could go any which way. Um, but we're gonna have to sub summon the double bam for this. This is an unbelievably cool looking boss. I love this design so much. I think it's one of my favorite in the game. It's made of like planets. Or at least what kind of like look like planets, you know? He's not too tough, but he might give us a run for our money if we're not careful. I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm hitting. Uh, I have no stamina! Or I did, but why didn't that work? Maybe I didn't. Huh. Get him, double bamp! Sick him! Such cool attacks. Oh, yeah, do that one. That's a good one. Huh. Not that one. Uh, uh, damn it, too early. Wait, the double bamp bleed him? Oh, run away. I didn't know you could bleed him. Yeah, I need to be quicker. Whew. In case double bamp dies. Oh, you can bleed him. Nice. All right, he's going to disappear soon. All right, take this just in case. He's about to rain asteroids. Sometimes this works. Just by running. No, oh, I ran right into one. Okay, good, nice. No thanks. Rude. Are you still with me, double map? Oh, I still hear him. Oh yeah, do that attack. Nice. I missed! Uh oh. What are you doing? Double bab! He was my brother! Oh, we did it though. <laughs> nice! That went really clean. Epic! That's so fun. I love that boss. So, so cool. I think those types of bosses, I, I like when FromSoft kind of just go nuts with stuff. Like it still makes sense, because um, this this game is kind of about the the sort of cosmos and stars and star energy and stuff coming from space, kind of eldritch horror-y. A bit like, um, I mean, Bloodborne has a lot of that as well. Actually, that's all Bloodborne is, but. I like that there's elements of that in this game, but it's not like the main purpose. So every now and then you get something like this, like a, a starry ceiling boss made out of planets. And that's just when FromSoft are at their best because they just make such weird quirky shit. Um, I want to look at his soul. So you can read a bit about him. Remembrance of Astel, natural born of the void, he, uh, void, hewn into the Erd tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Oh, uh, whatever. A malformed star born in the lightless void far away, once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky. And falling star? 
of ill omen. Um, because a lot of people thought that when you let the stars go back into motion and you, after you kill Radan, that Estelle comes from that and crashes, and maybe Estelle was the one that crashed down into that hole. But here it says that, um, he was born far away and once destroyed an eternal city. So, Nokron is already destroyed by the time we get here, so I think Estelle has just been here for a long time. <clears throat> I think it's part of something before, uh... Is it before the Erd Tree's time? I don't know how long the Erd Tree's existence has been. Like thousands and thousands of years. For sure, but... I'm not quite sure on the timeline of things. Because there is a lot of stuff outside of like... The Erd Tree's the main purpose of why we're here and why the laws of order and... Whatever exist in this version. But... It's not like... There's other gods at play in this world. There's the Formless Mother. Um, there's the Halig Tree as well that we need to get to. Um, so now we came up through that well underneath here where we fought Estelle. And now we're up here at the bottom of Lyurnia. At the Moonlight Altar. So dope. Because when you're down below, you don't really see any of this. It doesn't look like this from down there. It just looks like there's like a ruin up there. But it's like when you get up close, you start seeing the moon rays lighting the place. I love this. Um, there's a couple of things we can get here. Not yet. Uh, we're going over here, but you can do over here. If you want a summon that's not the mimic, but is... I honestly think is better for a lot of bosses. For like 90% of the bosses, this one is better. There, you fight um, someone named Alecto, and then you get uh, Black Knife Tish, who's one of the assassins with the, the Black Knives. And they have some unreal attacks. I want to get them. I don't want to rely on my Mimic for the whole game. I want to get Tish, because I like fighting with Tish better. It's just more varied and interesting. Cure, Q Adula. What's happening, bud? I'll be back for you later, don't you worry. Cathedral of Manus Celis. Manus was a boss in Dark Souls 1. He was at the bottom of the void. Or the abyss, I should say. He was a uh, father of the abyss, is that what he's called? Let me get all these. Yeah, see these things, do they channel star power into them, and then it, like, drips onto the floor here. It kind of looks like that. Maybe I should actually read what these are. An ephemeral sliver that gives off a pale blue glow. What remains of a passing flash of starlight? A prized item that was once used in the Eternal City as an ingredient in intoxicating drafts. What remains of a pa passing flash of starlight? Like a shooting star? Maybe? I'm not sure. They give you FP, so they're helpful in like a, like a dire situation. If you really want to get more FP and you're all out of flasks. Whoa! I'm falling the hole yet. Um, yeah, here. This is, this is going to be cool. Ho 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 ho! Another set of two fingers. Hmm? But these ones are dead. And you can see the doll of Rani at the bottom of it. If you see that scar that's in the hand going down here, that's the that's the rune of death. So it's like two fingers that have been killed. She's made out of ropes. Time to get married. Do I hear wedding bells? Wait, that's the wrong hand. It's supposed to be on the left. So, 
It was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord, and once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Nice. And then you get... Oh. The Dark Moon Greatsword. Or the Holy Moonlight Greatsword, as it is and everything else. Remember when I fought, for any of you who don't follow FromSoft games, remember when I fought Ludwig in Bloodborne? Um, he had the, the Holy Moonlight Sword, that was his main weapon. And now it's back again in Elden Ring, except it's called the Dark Moon Greatsword. Um, a moon greatsword bestowed by a carrion queen upon her spouse to honor long-standing tradition. One of the legendary armaments. Um, carrion queen upon her spouse, oh. Rani's sigil is a full moon, cold and leaden, and this sword is but a beam of its light. Cool. Nice, that's Rani's quest done. So, getting all that now in place leads us up to the ending. So now you can't, all you have to do is get to the ending and defeat the final boss, and then you summon Rani, and we get to do her ending. There are other ones you can do. There's, um, there's a three fingers in the game, which is the, like, the Lord of Frenzied Flame. Um, and they, they worship a different thing. It's a different outer god, but it's three fingers instead of two. And then there's an absolution ending you can get, um, that is, remember we saw Gold Mask? If you go back to Corrin at the round table and then you progress that, the Gold Mask goes off with Corrin and they learn something. And then, I think it's their ending that people have figured out recently. It was like the seventh secret ending that people didn't know about. And if you get that, it merges the two fingers with the three fingers to make like a full hand at the end. And it's a really weird, like, shaped hand compared to like a human hand. But it's really cool. I'm telling you this now because um, I'm not going to be doing that one, so I wanted you just to know. Um, now I think we can actually go into the capital. Going into the capital will get us um, a bunch of stuff, actually. The capital, I think, is my favorite area in the game, but it's also one of the more confusing ones. Or should we... Hold on. We're, we're doing Rani stuff right now. Um, and I kind of want to show off as much as I can in these videos, like I'm not going to show off every dungeon and I'm not going to show off every cave and things like that, because they, they do get very repetitive after a while, but I definitely want to show off some of the cooler elements of the game. Um, we're going into this tower here. It's another divine tower. These divine towers were... I, I'm picking up bits of story from other people. Some of the story I, I knew on my first time through, but other people have done videos now on, like, the story, of course. Um, and Vati, Vati Vidya, <clears throat> who is notorious for doing all of the lore for the Dark Souls and Bloodborne series, who I learned the Bloodborne lore through, by the way, so all credit to him. Um, he finally uploaded a video on this and filled in, like, a lot of gaps that I had had. Like, that stuff about, um, maybe the outer god for the greater will being, like, a, a parasite taking over the Erd Tree. But th all of these things are still kind of, like, theories of what's going on. I don't think anybody has it all pinned down. Nor should you, probably. Because these games are always left to be a little bit vague, so not all of the stuff is there to, like... You don't get all of the information, it's all kind of up to interpretation. Which I, I fully agree with. I'm a big fan of kind of ambiguous storytelling, as many of you know in any of the sort of, like, ego lore that I've done in the past. I'm more of a let people fill in the gaps and don't give, like, definitive solutions to everything, because it's, it's fun to see people theorize and that's my favorite aspect of storytelling. If everything's just laid out in front of you, like, that's fine as well, but... I like when there's a mystery to be unraveled by people. Um, yeah, so this place is so cool. Everything's so cool in this game. So you go in and you go in the elevator and then you go up and there's like a- I'll just show it to you. So you get a sense, because otherwise if I don't show it to you, you won't realize what I'm about to do is as cool as it is. It's like a regular looking place, right? You come in, chandeliers, it's very Bloodborne-y. Kind of looks like the research hall in Bloodborne. There's like water all the way down there. 
just a standard place. You can go through it, you can collect a bunch of items. You can fight somebody who teleports way too much and is really annoying. But then you can also come here and do something else. So you remember when we went to Rani before? She gave us a statue. Uh, where is it? Statuette of a scholar with ground and sky inverted reveals the hidden form of the Carrion study hall which connects to the Divine Tower. To unveil the secret, affix it to the pedestal of the celestial globe. Which is this bad boy. This blew my mind the first time it happened. And I wish I could get that feeling back, but I never will. So cool. So you'll notice that it's a moon again. How many times do you want this thing to move? Yes. <laughs> Just when you think it's done, it keeps going and going and going. So that was neat. And now you come here... ...and everything's inverted. So now the water is on the ceiling. And everything is upside down and all of the lanterns are below me. That is... Unreal. Like it did that, and I know I read like the thing, and it was like, oh, inverts, and it's upside down, and everything. And I said, I was like, oh, it'll put it in, and then it'll like unlock an elevator or something that I couldn't get to before. Because when you do this normally, hey, hey buddy, <coughs> when you do this normally, you can't get to the end of it. There's no like doorway out. And then I did this, and I was like, no way. Everything's upside down. This is the oh. Jesus, this is the guy I was talking about, by the way. Oh, that still hits me. No! You are! Oh, God, you're so annoying! Ah, oh, God almighty! When you get close to him and you start hitting him, then he just starts teleporting everywhere. And then he summons like a bunch of spirit dudes to come in and fight you. And then once he's close to being dead, he just teleports away from you so you can't kill him. Ah, oh, you're so annoying. I'm gonna bury you in the shallowest grave. Yeah, try it again. Try it again. I really wish you could fall off, but no, the game's like, oh, we need to protect him. I hate him. I hate him so much. And all of these other feckers that help him out. Just stay still for five seconds. Take your lumps! Oh, he's the worst. He's the absolute worst. Don't you dare kill me. No! Oh, yeah, see, he teleports away like a giant qu quivering pussy. Sorry, he, he, he brings out a side of me that I don't like. Eat it! Eat it! All's fair in love and war! Okay, bye guys! <laughs> I don't like them. <sighs> okay. Okay, I want to fall off this, but I've had it happen before where the game- the camera messed up. Any of you FromSoft veterans know what I mean? Like you walk around this, and then it, it does that! I didn't move the camera! The camera just goes, and I hate it. I did it once where I just fell off the edge. Anyway, we did it. I don't need to be upset anymore. I can just <sighs> let the feeling go and move on with my life. They can't because they're dead. Anyway, then you come out here and you open up the door and everything goes back to normal. <laughs> <coughs> hey, push! You mighty stallion! It's so bizarre because the world is still the same side up. So it's like a, it's like just a magical effect that inside the tower turns upside down, but everything else outside and the tower itself remains upright. Like I pushed the door open from the curved side. 
so cool. I don't know why it's inverted. And what that actually means. Oh wait, do I have to fight a godskin guy here? Oh no. Same guy from Volcano Manor. I think I do. But I have a horse! Go, Torrent, go! Should be able to beat him. Or we can run away like a coward. Oh, do your fireball. Or not. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Do a fireball! Do a fireball! There you go. Thank you. Oh, big bleeds. Nice. Now do your big whoo. Now come at me. Whoop. And now whoop. Actually, I can just keep running in circles on this one. Oh, to have a big arena. <laughs> I can do this all day, Buckaroo. The big belly baby that you are! Nice! Dinkle Bap! Dinkle Bap! I really think Dinkle Bap is the greatest warrior of all time. Never been defeated. Transcended all of the cosmos and Bloodborne, and now here to become Elden Lord. We love you, Dinkle Bam. Right, we love you, Dinkle Bam. If you don't love Dinkle Bam, then get out of here. Well, watch the video, leave a like, and subscribe, and then get out of here. We've been in these towers before, where we got the... The rune? Like, the great runes that we have? We got Godric's one. I don't think I did the others, did I? I could have gotten Redan's as well. You get, uh, Renala's, but that's just to help you... Uh, be reborn, but this one is a little different. Because there's no two fingers at the top of this one. There's just a dead body. If you notice, they have the curse mark of death on their back. Which means that they had to have been a powerful being to be killed. Stargazer heirloom. Um, Alright, let's do a little sleuthing. The curse mark carved into the discarded flesh of Rani the Witch. So this is Rani's body. That's what she actually looked like. Well, I'm sure she looked a lot different when she was alive, but remember I said that she killed her body and then uh, killed Godwin's soul at the same time? So her body died and her soul lived on and Godwin's soul died, but his body lived on. We haven't found Godwin's body yet. Um, but this is what was left over of Rani at the top of her tower. Uh, this curse mark was carved at the moment of death of the first demigod and should have taken the shape of a circle. However, two demigods perished at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half wheels. Rani was the first of the demigods whose flesh perished while the Prince of Death perished in soul alone. So that's really important. I think it means that if Godwin was killed on his own, he would have gotten a full circle curse mark of death. But because two of them died at the same time, it's split in half. And that was Rani's plan. She sacrificed her own body to enact her plan to do what we're doing with her now, which is to tread the path of darkness to get back to the moon and stars, basically. And that means she has some plans up her sleeve that we can go ask her about. Ugh. Who's talking? I mean, I know, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, build up the suspense for you guys who don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think we can... Can we talk to her again? No. I thought she shows up here again. Or maybe you have to do something else for that. Oh, maybe I can talk to the miniature Rani, actually. Yeah. I take it thou hast noticed. I shouldn't be surprised. I thought I might expound a little further upon the order I envision. Mine will be an order not of gold, but the stars and moon of the chill night. I would keep them far from the earth beneath our feet. As it is now, life and souls and order are bound tightly together. 
but I would have them at a great remove, and have the certainties of sight, emotion, faith, and touch all become impossibilities, which is why I would abandon this soil with mine order. Wouldst thou come to me even now, my one and only lord? Absolutely, my queen. Mine will be an order, and I would abandon this soil. Wouldst thou come to me? So, yeah, it, it, she doesn't really say much about it, but just that she wants to, like, change the world. She wants to change the way the established order is now. And I... I, I mean, I don't think they do, but I kind of like to think that like Elden Ring and Dark Souls take place in the same sort of universe because Dark Souls starts off with uh, a time of darkness. Dark Souls starts in complete abyssal darkness where there's no light and then suddenly there's fire. Suddenly fire appears. And that fire is what drives the world to go into the Age of Fire, to create magic around it, to create civilizations around it, to create, like, to, to keep away the darkness. So, she's talking about leading into the darkness, so I'm like, is this before Dark Souls? I don't think so, but I kind of, in my head, it kind of goes that way. That this leads into that, because this starts off with, like, a tiny speck entering your hand, and then in Dark Souls, there's the furtive pygmy, who gets the tiny speck in their hand. And in this one you're tarnished, but in the other one you're, you're brandished with the dark sign. You're the... You're the hollows. So it kind of follows a similar sort of path, but that's just FromSoft being... doing like similar games. But I kind of like that... I don't know what her dark... Her... I don't know what her path means. Because I used to think it meant that you were taking away the order of this. So you were giving back humans sort of free will. And giving them back their life. And death becomes a natural part of life again. But I don't know. Listening to that, I don't know if that's what she means. Because she talks, she talks in like old ass English. And it all sounds like riddles. And I zone out a lot. But there it sounded like she said that it would just be darkness. That there would be nothing. Because she wants to go against the greater will, and what goes against that more than anything is nothing. Um, but she is part of the moon, so maybe it's just a different order and a different god. But who knows? But anyway. Here we have the sad end of Blythe, our friend. He was the one talking, saying that he was part of her. Because now Rani's gone. So, her shadow, every Empyrean has a shadow to keep track of them. Um, and Rani was an Empyrean, and he was, like, destined to kind of watch over her and keep track of her and protect her to get her along her path. And now she's gone. She left this world, so what is he left to do? I'm sorry, Blythe. It had to be this way, brother. It's nothing personal. I'm doing this for your own good. I promise. I love you, Blythe. Don't make me do this. God, it really is like having to put your dog down or something, isn't it? Uh, where are you, Double Bamp? Double Bamp, can you fucking fight? Oh. You know what people are like, don't use summons, they're overpowered. And then you have moments like that where the summon almost does nothing. <laughs> wow! Wow! He's not going down without a fight. Oh, I want to finish him off cool. No! Come here! <laughs> oh my god! No! I wanted to do it! He kept running away from me! Dang it. Okay. Good night, Blythe. You were a hell of a warrior. Okay, this... This dragon wants to fight me. So this dragon is actually the same one that is over at the other Moonlight Altar that just showed up and I was like, I'll kill you later. But if you fight him here, he just disappears over there. This is a Black Knife Assassin, actually. Were they on the way to, on their way to kill Rani? Wait, no, they couldn't have been. They they serve Rani. So did he just go crazy and kill one of them? 
Yeah, there's another one down there. And another one! There's three of them! I'm confused now. Maybe just because he, he went mad with the loss of Rani. That he just... Maybe they tried to kill him, actually. Oh, that's probably it. They probably tried to kill him because Rani's gone and now he's gone mad. So they need to, like... I mean, put him down, for lack of a better term. Um, cool. All right. There's a lot of lore for you. Let's have a little stroll through the capital. I've been teasing this for a while now, that we're at the capital and we can go do things, and I just haven't done it. Oh god, Gargoyle. I forgot about him. Let's go, Double Bamp. We have work to do. <laughs> you got that, Double Bamp? You ready? <laughs> I'm not! Oh my god, oh my god, again? Dude, he can't do that attack twice! Not so close together! Oh my god, can you stop being a fecker? Oh my god, he's so annoying! I can't even hit him because he's on the ledge! Oh, this is the worst! Heal up, double map if you need to, if you can. Oh, that does a lot of nice damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That was stupid. Why did I do that? <laughs> huh. Okay, can we get a stun off there, Double Bamp? Is he doing it again? Oh, my God. I thought he was. Oh. He can't be over here. For the love of God, pick up your... Make up your mind. Oh, my God. He is doing it again. Ow. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Jesus, what an absolute hemorrhoid. Oh, that was so annoying. I mean, it's not even hard. It's just stinky. There she is. The capital. Right at the Erd tree. We're so close, I can almost taste it. Let me get my golden seeds. All right. Okay, this is fun. There's a guy up here. Um, first of all, let me look around a little bit. You see all these giant spears in the ground? These were from... There's a trailer or like a cutscene or something from the game that shows these landing. They're like big giant spears that were thrown from the capital to land and try and kill people. Because this the, the capital was stormed. Um... And people waged war against it. They had to defend against everybody coming in. Wait, I, oh, this isn't where the merchant is. Is it? No. Is it? No. Yeah? No. No. It's not. <laughs> but look at this nice little man just sitting there. All on his own. So unassuming, so easy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's Margit! He's back! I forgot I can't summon for this fight. God, those delayed attacks are so annoying. Oh, big hammer boy again. Learn some new moves! I killed you with these once before. You didn't go away and learn anything. Come on, Margit. Remember I said that he didn't die? Oh, Jesus. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, God. Now you're stuck. Ha! <laughs> oh, why does you being stuck look a lot less annoying than mine? Oh, my God. Just, just let me hit you. There we go! Ha 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 ha! Down you go again! Hmm. Gave me a medallion though. No soul. Interesting. That scared the crap out of me the first time I got it. Because it's like, oh my god, I have to fight a boss just in the middle of this field? It's very scary. This um, area and this sort of like siege field 
where like that battle took place really reminds me of the Golden Age arc in Berserk. I mean, there's a lot of things in Elden Ring and Fransoft games that are Berserk-like, but this just evokes that sort of feeling for me. Because there's, there's a ton of battles in that Golden Age arc, and they're all, it's like pre-monsters in that universe. It's like, it's almost like a simpler time. And this kind of reminds me of that, like, before everything went to shit. <laughs> People fighting each other, people waging wars against each other, non-stop battles. Although, I, I'm pretty sure this is part of the Shattering, so not really the same sort of timeline, but... I don't know. I always think of the Golden Age arc whenever I see this. I wasn't too big a fan of the Golden Age arc in Berserk, but it's very, very vital to what comes later. The end of it is the greatest Berserk moment ever. But leading up to it, a lot of it, it just felt like a flashback, and I was like, when is this flashback in? <laughs> is someone there? A customer? Oh, hold on. Well. Hold, hold on. We got, I got people to kill. Nice. Okay. Um, yes, hi, customer. Divorce from one's trade. Um, can you give me... Oh, you don't sell anything good, really. I guess these. You don't sell, like, a, a book for crafting. Why did I want to come here? Get in there, double vamp. This is an easy Ur tree for you to conquer. I feel like you can do this all on your own. I want to see what you're capable of. Okay, they're over there. Fine, I'll start the fight. There, now you finish it. I want to see if you're worthy of the name Bamp. Wait, can he get Deathblight? Because then we're kind of screwed. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll thin the herd a little. I, ba I basically just want to see if you can fight that guy all on your own. I don't want you wasting your time with all these little lads. Whoa. Whoa! Looks like he did it to me. I'm trying to help, Double Vamp! Alright, now go. Fight him, all alone. Almost. Nice, good one, good one. He got Deathblade. You are not worthy of the name Bamp. Was it that hard? All you had to do was spam L1s. See? But no, you had to go and die on me. What a stinker. We're a tough fight ahead of us, Double Bamp. That guy over there, he said bad things about your mother. But be careful, he's got lightning, Double Bamp. So don't just like, don't just like rush in there and fight him all willy-nilly, all right? We gotta take this piece by piece. Like, get in, get a bleed bar going. Now, unleash hell, double bamp! Ow! Okay, good moves, good moves. Nice, we gotta bleed off. Good proc, good proc. Can we do it again? Okay, nice, nice, double vamp, nice! Now he's gonna go all lightning on us, he's gonna go sicko mode. Be careful. Just imagine him the same, but with lightning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop doing fireballs. God, you're more annoying than the Godskin Apostle. Just don't stand in the reds, double vamp, like I did. I'm, I'm just showing you what not to do. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, get in there, double bam! Oh, just like daddy taught him! You finished with the flourish, you finished with the blood blade! That was so sick! I'm so proud of you! He redeemed himself! Turns out, if they don't have a death cloud above them, then everything's easy! Good job, double bam! They grow up so quick! Into the capital we go! It would be cool to see this capital when it was up and running. And it was big time, but... We get to come into it when it's in shambles, of course. We can't have nice things, we're foul tarnished. What else are we gonna do? Also, if you're online, there'll be lots of, like, really funny messages around here, like... 
uh, try finger, butthole, try pickle, uh, feet, that kind of stuff. Like, really smart stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the earth tree. It's so close now. And now you can see that there's a door in it. I mean, maybe you could see that a little further away, but... This is where you get, like, your first real look at it up close. Hold on. You can see, like, the, the walkway up to it. It's massive. There is a teleporter you can get to earlier in the game that teleports you, like, into the capital. And it blew my mind when I did that, because I was like, Oh my god, I'm right next to the Ur tree! And it was, like, right at the start of the game. Um, but I like the big reveal of it. And not seeing it until now. Because it's huge! Like, this still doesn't do justice to the scale of it. <clears throat> but this next vista, or like, piece of scenery that you see, like this reveal is my favorite one in the game. I probably said that about other things as well, but this... This is so gorgeous. Every single time I get to this, like I said, I've beaten the game seven times. Every single time, I'm not even exaggerating, I come and I stop and I look around at this. Because I think it's one of the coolest looking vistas that FromSoft have ever done. The gold lining all of the buildings. Like really reaffirming that you're in the capital. That this is where the golden order shines brightest because it's right next to the Erd tree. You have these weird little creatures playing horns, like harmonizing with the music, the birds in the distance. You see like roots coming down and of course, this giant dragon and spear happening right in the middle of the city. It's unbelievable. And all of this is explorable. Like this isn't just window dressing. You can basically walk on every single building, all of these buildings you can go into, all of this area you can go down around, it's very confusing. That walkway over there above my head you can go into... We're heading over there, of course. But I've... I've, uh... I've done this section many times and I, uh, I still get lost running through it. It's a very confusing area. These... I, these, these are such weird creatures. They blow bubbles at you. Oh, I almost fell off. That would have been death. <laughs> you can also get that weapon and blow bubbles at enemies as well. Especially this big one. I've used it. It's not great. But it is fun. Alright, calm down, lady. <clears throat> I don't know what these things are. I don't know if they're people turned into something, or there's something else. Also, up there is another place we're going to. You can see that we have, like... Why do I have so much of that uncovered? What? I have all of this uncovered, and I haven't even been there. Okay. I don't get that. I don't- I don't get the radius. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever, dude. You're lucky you're made of stone, or I would have bled you ages ago. They're like gargoyles that have fallen over. Gargoyles that don't work anymore. Oh, come back here! Take your lumps! Oh, this is gorgeous. The lighting here is really, really nice as well. The lighting for most of the game is actually really nice, but every now and then the light hits just right to make it look realistic. Oh, I was like, why is everything checker marked? But it's because I'm looking through this pot. Get out of here, buckaroo! Don't you know I'm going to become Elden Lord? Why is the game giving you smithing stone fours here? If you're upgrading your weapon with smithing stone fours going into the capital, you know you've done something wrong. I'm on fives. You should be on fives. I probably should be higher, actually. But I'm upgrading two weapons at the same time. 
So I, I de double all of the. You need 12. Is it 12? Yeah, you need 12 per level. No, not per level. Ah, it's whatever. Shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone. I also love that this is sort of overgrown. Like it's not in use anymore. Everything's kind of disheveled. It's really cool. There's so much atmosphere and storytelling going on in these little areas. Like things are all caved in, everything's in ruins. Imagine what this looked like in its heyday. When everyone was hustling and bustling around the place. I bet it looks really cool. Oh, I don't want to go that way. At least not yet. Ha! I'm here to kill! I'm here to fight everybody! <clears throat> I need to take it a little easier on my throat today. I have... Tomorrow, I have like a really important... Uh, like voice thing that I'm doing. Like lines. And I, I can't say what it is. Um, until way later, but it's it's really really important like one of the more important ones I've ever done and my throat is already kind of like stressed today Seedbed curse Please digs um, So I need to just be a little more careful with my throat. So no no like crazy yelling I can yell a little bit, but I let's not go overboard on it. Which I normally love to do, you know? Oh, you're alive. <laughs> not for long. Um, where are these bastards? There's a couple of them down in this room that throw perfume at you and... It does so much more damage than you think. It's just so much more annoying. You know, I don't mind when things are hard, but when they're annoying? Oh, brother. I love that music he's playing, though. It's very Sekido. Everybody, everybody's playing music in the capital. Stop that! You don't have a license! Sing a song to that! Hmm. Got him. Let me drink! What's happening? Why am I hitting the wall? Um, like I said, I sh shouldn't be yelling. This is what I mean. This is just so annoying. Okay. I swear, sometimes the button prompts don't work. Or it's like the game loads up a bunch of stuff that it's supposed to be doing, and then the frame rate starts lagging, which it does on every platform. The best version of this game is the PS4 version running on PS5. That runs at like a locked 60 FPS. Every other version doesn't. Um, and it's like it can't keep up with itself sometimes. But so much is going on on screen that the game's like, Oh God, what do I do? Oh, I triggered you. Oh, dip. I didn't want to! Lower that shield. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I like. Oh yeah, come to daddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, don't take- Don't take my bubble! You! Trilobite. <laughs> Man, I only have one heal left now. It's okay, big tree's gonna come down. And I'm gonna summon the double bamp. And then we're going to win. That's all the health I have left, Double Bamp. We're going to have to make it work. <sighs> I got caught in the wall. <sighs> stressful. Just a stressful video game. Take some of the heat there, Double Bamp. Oh, no. Oh, I thought you were doing the other one. I got a lot more health than I thought. Can't bleed a tree. Okay, nice. We take those. Yep, yep. We don't take these, though. We hide from these. Hang in there, double bap! You got this! I believe in you! How did you show up behind me? Do an L2, Double Bam! An L2! Doesn't matter, we did it anyway! Let's go! 
<laughs> oh, you get the Lord's Rune. Such a good one, too. I'll use it right here. Oh, this is the sewers. This opens up later. I'll use it right here in front of you all. The Lord's Rune. Oh, oh, 50k. Now that's good. That's good business. Oh, hey, Melina. My utmost thanks. No problem. For bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Oh, we're not there yet. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. No, my Honda! I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn runes into strength. But Melina? Here, with you. I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Thank you. Bye bye. Now I have no friends. Can you guys leave me alone for five seconds? Okay. Okay. This is cool. You get to go up the wing of the dragon. As long as these guys don't hit me. Oh, the dodge! What a legend. <laughs> Bye. Now we're on the dragon's arm. Or leg, or... Probably his arm. Whoa! Isn't that cool? When I got here the first time, I was like, please tell me I can go up that dragon. Or like, get close to it. And then you actually get to climb the wing. I love that. I love video games. I love FromSoft. I love becoming Elden Lord. Okay, easy does it. Can I knock you off the edge? Can you fall off the edge? Dang it. That would be a negative. Oh! Bye! He did it! What a nice guy! I miss him. Hey, 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 whoa, buddy. He's trying to like shank me in the streets of Landell. That's messed up! You can't do that to people! You gotta confront them face on, and then kill them! Wait, I have a bunch of seeds that I haven't been using. Oh. I went up one. <laughs> I so many. How many- I have one golden seed. I need three more. Good Christ. Hello! We're about to see something real cool here in a second. No, not that sick drop where I took no damage and was so cool with it. This! <clears throat> this probably doesn't look that familiar, right? Well, it should. This building is the round table, but from a different side. This is where we come and we, like, level up with ma- or get our weapons upgraded with Master Hugh. And then that door is normally closed in our world. Sanctified wet blade. Ooh, I need to get his hammer. And then normally these steps go down underneath and you can go down there, but they're broken here. So this is the actual round table. The one we go to is like a mirror image of it. Hey, there's Marika. Hero's rune. Ooh, nice fire. This is normally where Fia is. And then in here is the actual round table. Doesn't have the the grace that it once did. I assume this is where Marika had like her war council and she would come here and like uh sort of talk to them about what to do and what's going on and things like that. This is the room normally where the two fingers are and you go to Enya to upgrade your gear. Now there's no two fingers. But there is a throne. The coded sword. This is a cool looking sword. It's a faith weapon. And it's just like magic text. It looks like the elven language in Lord of the Rings, but that's it. That's that's the weapon. It sounds so cool. I mean, it's no double bleed scimitars, but it's a pretty fun weapon to use as a faith build. 
I just think it's cool that you find these places. The same in Bloodborne, you find the hunter's dream in the real world, where it used to be. Like, the hunters used to gather there. You have a picture of the Ur tree, a picture of Fia. Is that Godwin or Radagon? I can't really tell. It might be Radagon? I think it's Radagon. And then this is Godfrey. In due time, we'll have our moments with them. And this is where Gideon normally is. Studying his books like a big nerd. There's something eerie about it. Like finding this place outside of the realm you normally have it in. This room is normally closed, but the dung eater is normally in here. Ew. Did he defile this body? Seed bed curse. Oh yeah, he probably did, because he, he wants to collect those. The loathsome dung eater. <laughs> anyway, that's the round table. I just thought it was cool to be able to see it again in this scenario. But onwards we trek. Up the beautiful Erd tree roots we go. God, they're massive. <laughs> it's like the root itself is like a, a tree. It's bigger than most actual trees in our world. I love that. Really sells like the sense of scale of everything. Like how infinitesimally small you are in regards to all of this. But... Even the smallest creature can enact the biggest change. What quote is that from? Some person said that. Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. Oh, there it is. The Erd Tree. hey -ya! Do I want to fight all of you guys? Yes, should I? Probably not, because I'm losing health and stuff. Nah, it's fine. They're not too bad. I'm gonna great rune going into this fight anyway. Ah, he's Jay chillin'. He Jay chillin' on a root. Okay. Big boss in here. Shouldn't be too tricky. Especially not with... Double Vamp! Godfrey, the first Elden Lord! We saw his poster inside. Well, painting. They don't really have posters. They're not... They're not rock stars. Dude, I had your poster above my bed when I was a kid. Nice one, Double Vamp. Nice one. Keep it going. I don't think we can bleed him, actually. I'm taking this way too cautiously. Ow. Okay, maybe I should be taking it more cautiously. Ha! Don't die, Double Vamp! Do your duty! Oh lord. That got close. Double Vamp, no! No! Double Vamp! Right at the end again! Oh, it's a stall all over again! Double Vamp! Oh, I feel bad. He keeps dying in all my fights. <laughs> I need to upgrade him. Because he's only, what, plus six? Maybe plus seven? Um, how do I check? Yeah, plus seven. You need to be plus ten. Anyway, that was Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. If you notice, his axe was fully intact in that fight. But later on... I guess I spoiled it. He he does come back. That's just like a spirit version of him that you fight. Because you can't you can't have that poster of him and then have him show up in like golden form and then you beat him and it's like, huh? Even the first time through, I was like, that's not it. There's more to that. Nice, bruh. We can go up hella levels. <laughs> I want to get my health up to like fifty. I have my dex at fifty now. Which, technically, it's at 55, isn't it? Yeah, because the, 
The great rune brings everything up plus five. I want to get my vigor to 50. And then my dex at 50 is good. I want to bring my arcane up to like 30 or 40 if I can. And then the rest into endurance and vigor after that. I got them. I got them. I got them. Now we can do it. Double vamp is about to become their ultimate form. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? I was, but he said something. What does that mean? Oh my god, I need so much money. 10k? Okay, I'll go talk to you and I can sell stuff. Um, you can sell your stuff to him, these ones, and you get the amount anyway. It's a faster way of selling them. I don't even think that's going to be enough. Oh, it is. Nice. Was that it? Plus 10? Yeah! Mimic Tear Ashes plus 10. Let's go! That's going to be very important because we're going up to a very important fight right now. This is a big one. I hope that you're all ready, all right? If you were like just lazily, casually watching this series and you got to this point and you're like, oh, this is fun, like I'll keep watching. And this is the time to start paying attention. All right, we're heading to the urge tree. We're almost there. We're heading right to the foot of it. And there's big reveals about to happen. Wow, look at this city. Oh, the round table's in like an actual castle. Like all of these are kind of like castle structures as well, but this is like a castle-ass castle, like a real castle. Here you have all the finger crones, finger reading crones. The old ladies that read my fingers all the time. I have great fingers, they love them. Oh yeah, I have to fight you. Oh! Not a problem. You bleed just like everyone else, right? Okay, you're a little tricky. See, this one. If you get Black Knife Tish, they're one of these characters. And they have really cool attacks. I know I just upgraded uh, my Mimic tier. That one. That red blade. One of the strongest attacks in the game for a uh, summon. Wow, we saw this in the loading screens a bunch. See, they call this a bed. This looks like the most uncomfortable bed ever. Sure, you're probably a lot bigger than me, but it's made out of stone. Sounds hollow though. <laughs> uh, maybe I should get Black Knife Tish for some of the later areas. I just, they're very hard to fight and I don't think I'm strong enough to beat them the way I am right now. And um, what are my swords? Plus 14, plus 14, oof. I would ideally like those to be higher. I would... I would like those to be like plus 20s. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Here we are! Erd tree. You can't really see it because we're so close. But remember we entered in over here somewhere and we like looked over and we saw this pathway. There you have it. There's a giant like crack in the Erd tree there. But this is a giant doorway leading in. Okay, you can summon Melina for this fight. Yeah, should we? Yeah, we should. I'm not gonna like do the series and then not summon Melina after showing you that it's possible. Cause she's cool, she's fun for the fight. It just makes the fight harder. But it can't be too easy. Yes, she doesn't have her cape on. She's back. She's also got a cool little gold weapon. Who is that? Graceless Tarn. He's back, baby! What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. What a voice. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. Ooh, feet! Nice! General Radan. Praetor Reichardt. 
Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Hell yeah. He had a sword inside of it all along. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. Nice. So his real name is Morgoth. And he was going under disguise of Margot, which, if you ask me, is a terrible disguise. It'd be like me going undercover and calling myself Shane instead of Sean. Uh oh. Thought that was going to kill me. Alright, have at him, lads! Graceless tarnished! Nice. God, I love his sword. It's really fun to use as well. Uh oh. Double bab, watch out! Okay, I don't want to rush in too quick. Like that. Can we get another bleed off? Nope. Get out of there! Dang it. Wait, whose attack is that? Is that... Is that his or Melina's? It's Melina's! Whoa! Oh no. Sorry, I'm not listening to you, bro. I'm busy trying to kill you. You talk a lot. Man, Double Bamp is doing work. Look at me and my little army fighting them. My god, could you stand still? Okay, we got another bleed off. Let's go, Melina! Nice! First try, baby! Morgoth's Great Rune. Good job, gang! And just like that, my friends are gone. They don't stay around very long. All right, Morgoth, what have you got to say for yourself? Look at this pitiful form you find yourself in. Tarnished. Not but a fool. The earth tree wards off all who Dane approach. We are. We are all forsaken. <laughs> hmm. This is kind of like his form after. Because he's a demigod. But death doesn't really exist in this world, so. You, uh. You end up like that, I guess, when you're dead. But yeah, when I got here. I thought that this was the last fight in the game, and I fought- my first time through I fought him and I was like... That was really easy. Cause he's not that hard to fight, especially if you have like a mimic and a, a summon like that. Hey, the throne! I can sit in it now. Later. I'll sit in it later. I'll build a better one. And then this is the actual Erd tree. Like, this is the sides of it. But it says, Impenetrable thorns refuse all. None may enter the Erd tree. And then when I got this, I was like, Oh, we're not done yet, are we? There's, there's more to this game. What's up, Melina? Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. Converse? You were unable to enter the Erd tree. No, prevented by the mantle of barbs. Yeah. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose 
serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame oh, ho, ho. and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. We're about to set a tree on fire, baby. America's made in the map. Thank you, Melina. I wish to journey with you to the flame of Rowan and guide you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said all that. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I'll be. Hey, my throne is back. Also, Morgoth moves to over here after that. None may claim the title of Elder Lord. Thy deeds shall be met with failure, just as I. <sighs> so he couldn't. He couldn't enter it either. Um, but let's read his soul. Though born one of the graceless omen, Morgoth took it upon himself to become the Erdtree's protector. He loved not in return, for he was never loved, but nevertheless, love he did. So he's- when the shattering happened, the- the Elden Ring was shattered, and pieces of it went everywhere. And then, all of the demigods that I've been fighting, like, gathered piece of it, and they- they held on to it, and they clutched it, and they were like, no, mine. And then they had a big war with each other, um, the Shattering War, and all fought with each other. It all kind of came to a standstill, and then everyone was like, look, we're never going to defeat each other, so we might as well just hold on to the land that we have. And that's why everyone keeps the runes that they had. Um, and then Morgoth, it, it's not Margot, Morgoth was the guy who was like, I stand with the Erd Tree. I'm not squabbling with the rest of you. I'm not going to go down into baseless sort of arguing and fighting with one another because um, he believed in like the order and everything. Um, and he was an omen child. So people who were born of certain, certain familial reasonings that we haven't discovered just yet become omen, omen babies and they're shunned. And they're sequestered to, like, below the capital in the sewers. And he's an omen child, hence, like, the horns and the sort of malformed hands and kind of, like, the pustules and everything that are on him. And because of that, he was shunned. But he still defends the Ur Tree, and he still defends, like, Queen Marika and stuff like that, I think. So he, that's why he called them all traitors, because they want to become Elden Lord instead of just being where they should be. Um, but yeah, you can get his sword and something else. Oh, it's like a, it's like a thing, a consumable thing that you use, but they're not, again, they're not useful for me. They're, they're, his sword is for an arcane build. Melanie gave us a mission. She marked my map to get to the rolled route outside of this and go all the way up to the grand lift of rolled. I don't know who rolled is. I'm assuming he built the lift <laughs> maybe um i'll come back to that stuff later the capital is a very meandering place but you come back to it after and i man there is so much game left still um this area up here is the consecrated snowlands and the halic tree and that's all optional but this area here that i'm about to do is not did I knock the map here? Jesus. That area is not optional. You have to go there to do it. But I I remember getting to the capital and being like, I'm here. I'm at the Erd Tree finally. And then fighting Morgoth and I'm like, you, you came back. That's why he shows up as Margit at the start because he's just like, I think he might be like a vision or like a, a projection of himself. Or maybe he actually does just show up and he doesn't die. But he's Margit as, like, a distraction, sort of, uh, he's disguised as Margit to stop people even trying to get to the capital. So he stops you at Stormvale Castle, even before it, to be like, those people with ambition trying to come and claim, like, title of Lord at the Erd Tree. I'm not allowing you. Instead of waiting at the Erd Tree, I'm gonna wait 
all the way back at Stormvale and even stop your ambitions from going any further than Limgrave. And then you fight him there, and then you fight him at the front of the capital, to get, and he's just trying to keep you out all the time. And then you finally get to him and fight him as Morgoth, his real name. And that's when you finally defeat him for good. But as you can see, his body stayed behind, but I got his soul. And I think that happens for all of them. It's a, it's a little confusing, because it's a little inconsistent. Because Godric's body stays behind, Morgoth's body stays behind, but like, Radan's body doesn't. So I don't- I'm not entirely sure. I thought it was because the Rune of Death is gone, so you can't die, you know? So your body just kind of like lives on. Oh, that messed you up, bud. And again! And even more! Sorry, I killed your horse. Why am I sorry? I'm actively trying to murder you. They do so much damage, they have so much health, they have a fucking shield. Whoa! Come on! I don't have time for it. I'm leaving. I'm not gonna fight any of you this time. You all get to keep your lives. I just want my runes and I'm gone. Bye. Bye. You're just gonna follow me, aren't you? I'll do it, bro. I'll do it. I'll end your whole career if I have to. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know that he doesn't want this fight yet. Oh my god. Fine! Fine! Have it your way, you giant erectile dysfunction! <laughs> anyway, here we are at the Grand Lift of Rald. <laughs> Finally, after all this time. Wait, we go down? She said I had to go higher and higher above the snowy mountaintops, above the clouds. I really wanted in this game, I thought for the longest time that because you go to Nokron and Noxella and that's below ground and it's like the stars below ground, I. And then you come up here and you do all this stuff here. I really thought there was going to be a city in the clouds. And I thought that that was such a cool idea that I'm sad that it didn't happen. Maybe for DLC. It would be so fun to have an area that's like in the clouds somewhere. Like, like way, way, way higher than anything else in the lands between. It would be so cool. Now we're in the Forbidden Lands. We're so close to getting Rivers of Blood, our final weapon. That's why I'm not too concerned about upgrading these too much more. Because we'll get Rivers of Blood before the next, like, major boss. Oh my god, Torrent, can you? Thank you. Um, and then... <laughs> having two mimics with Rivers of Blood? It's kind of unstoppable, but of course, before we go any further, what does Elden Ring love doing more than anything? Recycling bosses, yes. Yet again, we have to fight a gargoyle. I joke, of course, there are plenty of uh, unique bosses in this game. It's just, when bosses get repeated, you really notice it. And this game does it a lot. Oh shit, oh shit. Is that death? He is like an extra special one. We can get a double vamp! I'm not even worried. Do I look bothered? Not even in the least. Well, right at the end is no good, is it? <laughs> we did a double vamp! What a strong, fearsome warrior you are. You get so many weapons from those gargoyles. Are any of them any good? Because I always kind of find weapons that are better. There it is, the Grand Lift of Rald. What's up, Crone? What you got? You. Please. You're. Fine, I'll show you my fingers, but don't be weird about it. Turn back. Ahead lies the land of the giant's flame and the way forth is forbidden <sighs> hear me the burning of the earth tree is the first cardinal sin 
Doing so will unbind destined death and slay the world itself. Or will it? <sighs> Who would dare put you up to such a task? That line I really like. Most certainly not the fingers. I really like that line. Because this whole time you're kind of going under the influence of the two fingers and Melina keeps saying, oh, the two fingers demand this and demand that and you should do this. And then you go here and it's like, wait, we have to burn the Erd tree? And then she's like, the fingers don't want that. Why would they want to burn the Erd tree? That's like where their power is housed. But saying who put you up to such a task is like, ooh, Melina, what's going on? Why? What's her motive? What has she got going on, huh? I skipped this cutscene, by the way, because you just hold up a medallion and then it, the lift raises. <laughs> Here we are, above the clouds. Look how fluffy they look. I just love that the Erd tree is always present. It's a really terrific design choice to have something like that, so you can always get a sense for where you are in the world. It's kind of the same with Skyrim. You have that one mountain in the middle of everything, the throat of the world. And from there, you can always kind of tell where you are located or situated. It's the same with the Erd tree. Oh yeah, we didn't find this guy too much in my playthrough. This was Yura. I mean, he helped you fight the bloody fingers. Finally, we meet. But he's different now. The tarnished, the would-be lord. Oh my. Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri. Shabriri. I hope you can make your peace with that. I guess I can. But, I kill you anyway. Look, I want his clothes. Is that so much to ask? Oh God, I forgot that you were frenzy. I forgot that that's like your thing. All right, don't do it too much more. He almost gave me the madness. Ha <laughs> ha Shaburi's like a, a character based in the madness sort of spectrum of this game. Um, which is really cool, but I love this outfit. Uh, the Ronin attire. Oh no, that's not it. I think it might be one of my favorite sets in the game. It reminds me of Ghost of Tsushima. It's so badass. It's not the strongest armor in the game, and that's fine. But fashion souls. I got this, like, asymmetrical whooshy cape. I got this cool-ass helmet. I look a little silly underneath it, but... It really fits the Rivers of Blood weapon. Which I kind of want to just go straight to. So, a lot of this area... I'm not going to be doing in depth. A lot of it just fucking sucks. This, this is the moment in the game where the difficulty spike just shoots way up for some reason. Like, everything's so much harder to kill. You do so much less damage. You you take so much more damage. Everything's just really fucking strong. There's so many of them. These guys are really cool. I want their armor as well. There's a bell bearing I want to get actually back there. But all in good time. But I want to get my Rivers of Blood. That's my weapon. That's going to be my final weapon. And I wanted so badly. Because I wanted for certain bosses. I could have come here a bit earlier, could have gone to Morgoth earlier, and then fought some of the other bosses later with Rivers of Blood, but I, I felt like I was... Yeah, that's where we're going. Across this. I wanted to get like a good flow for the series going. Peace and love! Peace and love! Oh my god, look how cool this is! Ugh, 
Best game. That's the consecrated snowlands down there, by the way. That's the optional area. Oh, look at that. There's a giant in the distance. I wonder what he's up to. He... Maybe he's nice. Maybe he's gonna wave me down. Oh, no, he wants to kill me. <laughs> ah, you didn't pick up the item. Well, too bad, because we gotta keep going. It's bullshit, anyway. Whoa! Okay. That's what I get for stopping to pick up items. Just don't do that. Just go. <laughs> I do love snowy areas in games. I, I have said this many times to people. But for some reason, this one just... Does not vibe with me. <laughs> Look at all that damage. Oh, big stomper, huh? Oh, big stomper. Die. Thank you. God, I look so cool now. I think the problem with this area is that it comes after what feels like the end of the game. Oh my god, why are these shadows freaking out? Oh lordy! <laughs> the world's falling apart. Because this area doesn't offer much in terms of... like, cool spectacles until the very end of the area. What do you give me? I want it! I want to find out! Gimme! Baby wants his toy! Ooh, that's a good one. Glad I did that. Well, I could have gotten another one somewhere else. But yeah, apologies for not thoroughly going through this area, but... It is just... kind of shit. I'll, I'll do some things in it. Just not everything. Interesting area, though. Like, all of these sort of spectral trees and stuff. There's, like, spectral animals walking around. This is the home of the giants who were defeated in Queen Marika's reign. She, she defeated the giants because the giants had the fire that was able to burn the Erd tree. And she did, obviously didn't want that because it would get rid of her power. So she, she laid siege to the land of the giants and clearly won because this is supposed to be a land of fire. And since she defeated them and the fire was taken away, then you're left with this just snow land that is sort of devoid of life. Okay, I'm, I'm rushing straight to get my sword. I'm going to come back and do some of these areas then afterwards, but I want my sword now, and I can get it now. The first Church of Marika. I don't have the spell to be able to do it because it's a faith spell, but there is a statue in... The capital in Leyendel that you're kind of hinted at. I can't remember who hints at it. Somebody hints at to go to that statue, it lies the secret. And since you would have found it out by now, if I had that spell, when you go to that statue, it's a statue of Marika or it's a statue of Radagon, but it's, um, it's the laws of regression, I think is the name of the spell. And you do a spell where you like, change things. It also helps you uh, reveal illusory walls. If you ever get that spell, by the way, and you didn't know it did that, if you go into, like, dungeons and stuff, if you use that spell in rooms, it'll reveal the illusory walls in it. But it... I don't exactly know what the spell does, but the statue, it changes. It changes Marika into Radagon, or Radagon into Marika, and then there's a sign on the ground that says a secret, which is that Marika is Radagon. So, all this time you hear about these characters that are Queen Marika, the Eternal, and Radagon, who married Renala, and then left and went to the capital to marry Marika. And it turns out that they're the same. Marika is Radagon. Um, and that's a, that's a pretty big reveal in the lore of everything as well. But just to kind of like toss it out there for you. Because we've heard a lot about those by now. Um, and it's not really a spoiler if I if I would have found it at this point anyway. Like this is, it's at this point that you can learn that fact. 
But what the ramifications of it are yet are still yet to be known. Ho oh, ho, across the big chain. I love when FromSoft games do these. They have the Dark Souls 2 DLC. As I as much as I don't like Dark Souls 2, I know a lot of people really like it. Um and it gets a bad rap over the years, and then people are like, it's not as bad as everyone thinks. I I personally still think it's really bad. If you play like Dark Souls 3 and then Elden Ring and stuff and then go back to Dark Souls 2 or even like going back to 1 is fine Going back to Dark Souls 2 is so hard. The timing of everything just feels so slow and sloppy um, But Dark Souls 2 had some really cool Like things like this in the DLC you go across a big chain like that Which I found really fun. It's some it has some stuff going for it. It has some style to it here You can see all the Giants are dead it's a giant right here. The giant over here. They have these like wooden spears coming out of them. Which they kind of look like weapons. They kind of look like spears that were like driven through their back. But I think it's death blight, right? It's hard to know. If you get killed by death blight, it makes that sort of shape. And especially all of these sort of thorns. It creates these kind of like thorny barbs like that. So I think these are all killed by death blight. But there's so many of them. Um, I'm not fighting any of these birds and dogs and stuff because they just suck. It's like fighting mini bosses all the time. But there's a church up here that we want to go to. Yeah, even like there's remnants of fire. There's guys who worship fire. There's the fire slugs. Oh, cool. There's a bird in that skull's eye. So many giants. They're so big. I mean, I know. They're giant, but... Oh, here we go. Bloody finger Okina. He helped us in the fight with Redan. He has my sword. That's my sword. I want it. Oh, God. Oh, God. He can kill me real easily. I think he can heal as well. I'm just gonna cheese him. Does he heal? As long as he doesn't do his corpse piler attack, I'll be fine. I can manage it. Okay, I don't think he heals. Oh lord. I knew I couldn't get it off. The timing was all wrong. Now. Yeah, baby! Give it to me! I deserve this! Rivers of blood! You get his mask as well, but I don't care about a stinky Okina mask. I mean, it does look kind of cool. It also matches this outfit really well. It's like a... Kind of like a samurai look. Um, what is it? Raises dexterity as it lowers, lowers focus. Oh yeah, I forgot it does that. Um, a wooden mask that depicts an old man bearing his teeth. The source of the sobriquet of the great swordsman of the land of reeds. That is a mouthful. The more he sharpened his mind, the more the absurdities of the world came into stark relief. And so Okina renounced it all and rose to a higher plane. There was only himself, his katana, and its mastery. Before long, Okina became a demon of a swordsman. Hell yeah! Bye bye! Unable to wield. I need 12 strength. I need two levels in strength! <laughs> well, that's just sad. <laughs> I can't even use it yet. Oh, but when I can. Mm. I know it's a bit of a joke weapon in the community right now, but it's my favorite weapon. I think it. The, the, oh, the attacks that it does are so cool looking. Okay, I don't have enough. Maybe there's something I can fight to get enough. Actually, with our good old friend Respec, we can just be born anew and get that one level. I have a ton of larval tears anyway. Uh, we'll get this back up to 45. You can be at 13, I guess. Although I don't really need levels in that. I might just use the the Mimic for the rest of the game, because I don't... 
if I want to use Black Knife Tish, I have to upgrade my mind to get 134. And right now it's at 74. So that's... Like, it's almost doubling my my mind, or my uh, FP, so maybe it's better just to do this. And that one level that I had in it goes into my strength now, and everything else can remain the same. Perfect. Nice. I do love that they brought in respecking into these games. They brought it in in Dark Souls 2. Um, yeah, this statue. Sorry, trail of thought. This statue is the one that if you do the, not this one specifically, but it's the same one in the capital, that if you do the laws of regression, it turns into the one of Marika. And here you can see that he's standing in front of the thorns that are blocking your path into the Erd tree. So Radagon doesn't want you in there. Um, but yeah, let's go test this bad boy out. What's up, boys? Ah, come on. <laughs> it's so dope! It's so strong. This isn't even like fully upgraded yet either. This is only plus eight. And I can put a lot more levels into my arcane to get it to go up as well. But I absolutely love its moveset. Oh, I guess I do need more mind if I want to um, do this attack more. Because it does like blood fire. It's so badass. Oh wait, he came back to life. Whoops. Nice. I adore this weapon. It's so fun to use. The first time, because it was broken when the game came out. Anything that scales on arcane didn't work. There's just the scaling didn't work on them for some reason. It was a bug, so it only scaled on the dexterity. And then once they fixed that bug, then Rivers of Blood became one of the strongest weapons in the game. Because not only is it doing a lot of damage the way it is, but it's also building up bleed, and it also does really high bleed damage. Well, 52. But... When you're doing it, it feels like you're bleeding all the time. What up, bud? You get out of my way. But I love that it sets things on fire. Obviously can't bleed this guy. <laughs> It's just so fun to use. It makes me feel like an anime character. I also love the range on this thing. I think... They're probably gonna nerf it, because I feel like... The damage it does versus the bleed that it does and the range that it has all feel like a little too much. It doesn't really show its worth against that guy, because it's, um... You can't cause him to bleed, but, oh... Wait till you see what we're able to do against some of the later bosses. Especially when I have my Mimic. Hey there, Bookaroo! What you doing? Hanging outside Castle Saul? That's cool. Alrighty, well. I'm gonna leave this episode here. We got a lot done. This was like a three hour session on my end. I don't know how much it turns out for you guys, but... Made lots and lots and lots of progress this time. Finally have my Rivers of Blood Sword. Now we can really kick it into high gear and blast out the rest of the game. For now, we have to go fight the Fire Giant, and then we have to go back and fight, um... Well, I can't say their names. Um, uh, you can go- then we'll go back and we'll fight, like, four other bosses after this. And then that's technically the end of the game, but there is more that we can do. I also want to go in here into Castle Sol, and fight the boss in here, who is arguably one of the worst ones in the whole game. It's so annoying. But that's on our agenda for the next time. Um, and then maybe we'll go fight Melania as well at some point, too. But lots still to do! I think, like, two more episodes and we should be wrapped up in this game, if not one more, depending on how quick we can get through it. But really excited! I think that this is where stuff really starts to, like, to, like, round out and we really start getting some answers and lore stuff and we just start fighting some really cool bosses and I'm excited to show you guys. But until then, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to you, my sweet babies. See you in the next one.